me the best. What? I saw the way you hugged your aunt. It's one of the things I love about you. Your goodness, your sweetness. You're always thinking about other people. I mean, you lifted your Aunt Grace's spirits right up. Well, you know it would lift my spirits right up. What? Something cold to drink. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> I'll go get us more lemonade. Okay. We're not gonna hurt you, and we will let you live, as long as you do exactly what you're told. Pain and suffering is going to come to the Bennett house because of Sam's son. Ethan's true paternity will be removed. But that's all just a side show. Miguel's death is the real event. All we have to do is discuss the plan of attack. It must look like an accident. Therefore, as we said, you two will do exactly what you're told. Are we all clear? Whatever you say, Charity. Beautiful charity. That holier than thou brat has no idea what's going on in her body. Now, time is of the essence. You two better not screw this up. Miguel's gonna die tonight. You want us to help you kill Miguel, right? No. We will kill Miguel. You'll help us get rid of him. Be our assistants. And do exactly what we say. You should have never tried to get rid of Miguel yourself. What in the hell were you thinking? We're the ones. The true assassins. Who would ever suspect sweet? Love of a little charity of killing the boy that she loves. So, you two have a choice. You can help us kill Miguel, follow instructions to the letter, and we won't rip out both of your hearts. Or, you can refuse. And die a slow, torturous, horrifying death. What's it gonna be? All right. We haven't got all night. What's it gonna be? You gonna help us kill Miguel? Or are we gonna rip out both of your hearts first? Of course we'll help you, dear. It'll be fun, won't it, Tim Tim? Won't it, Tim Tim? Yes, absolutely. It'll be like a barrel of laughs. Wait for our signal. Do exactly what you're told. You got it. What is that? Hope you're thirsty. Aw, aren't you sweet? Timmy doesn't know what's scarier. Hearing the demons growl in the basement or listening to Timmy's sweet charity Talk about murder. It's the pendant making her do these things. She doesn't remember a word the demon said when the pendant stops glowing. Jimmy thought Tabitha could control Charity once the pendant was on her. 
This looks like there's no controlling charity now. We've just got to do what she says. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we go visit Chad and see how he's doing? Sounds good. Hey, I'll run home and get my bike. All right. I won't be long. Poor McGinn. He has no idea that his girlfriend's going to kill him tonight. Where'd Miguel go? Oh, um, he went to go get his motorcycle. We're gonna go visit Chad. Ooh. What's wrong? Are you cold? Let me go get your sweater. No, um, I'm fine. Deep down, Timmy knows she's good. And one of these days, she'll be good again. Forget it. As long as she's wearing that pendant, there's no turning back. And once she kills Miguel, she'll be evil. Evil for. Do exactly as you're told, and everything is going to be just fine. It's not like Jimmy and Debbie are amateurs. We don't care what you are. All we care about is that this is Miguel's last ride on his motorcycle. Hope he enjoys it, because after tonight, he'll be dead. <laughs>